and welcome to Down to Earth. I'm Daphne Richards. This week's question comes from Mark. Should he use a winterizer fertilizer on his lawn and when should he apply it? Whether to fertilize or not and when can be very confusing, especially as it relates to lawns. There are so many products to choose from. Winterizing fertilizers normally have a higher amount of phosphorus and potassium. More phosphorus and potassium are ne not necessary for us here in Central Texas or in the South. One of the most confusing aspects of a fertilizer is understanding that ratio. A higher number is a higher amount, but not necessarily a better amount. Mark told us that his fertilizer had a ratio of 32-0-10. Lawns do need more nitrogen, that first number, than any other nutrient, but is 32% too high? Sounds kind of high. But no, not if it's used properly. So this fertilizer you would lose, use in a lower amount than maybe you're accustomed to. So read the label and follow it. That's very important always when you're using a product. And when is the best time to fertilize and how often? Very late summer or early fall, once it's no longer blazing hot and the nights have cooled down. Fall fertilizing gives lawns nutrients to help them build stronger roots and underground growth before it goes dormant in the winter so that it has a jump start next spring. Early spring you can also fertilize, but only after the lawn's almost completely green, so in mid to late April and not earlier. Should you fertilize any other time? Well, more fertilizer means more green, but it also means more growth and more mowing and more watering. So try to find a delicate balance. If you want to fertilize once, just in the fall, or once in the fall in the spring. And after this year's drought, some lawns may be dead or at the very least dormant. So should they be fertilized at all? Well, it's kind of a delicate balance again with those weed seeds. If you fertilize now, you'll bring back the weed seeds, but you also will help your lawn a little bit. So I would say maybe skip this year and then fertilize this spring for sure. Our plant this week is gopher plant, Euphorbia rigida. This is a nice little dryland evergreen plant and it looks great in a rock garden or an area with decomposed granite. The pale bluish green leaves are offset nicely by the light colors of most decomposed granite that's used in our landscapes. It looks nice planted along borders as a specimen plant or even in short containers. It's about two feet tall, spreading to about three feet wide, so give it plenty of space. The leaves are narrow and pointed and makes a nice clump of pale yellow flowers at the end of each plant stalk in mid to late spring. It is poisonous. And gopher plant is evergreen and listed to hardy to zero degrees Fahrenheit. It does rot easily, so be careful in clay soil. Maybe don't plant it there. And with wood mulch, also may rot. Plant in well-drained soil and don't overwater it. Maybe only once a month or so, which makes it great in our drought. And also plant it in full sun. To do in your garden this week, it's time to divide and replant any summer blooming perennials, if you haven't yet, before those above ground portions completely die back and you no longer remember where they are in your garden. That happens to me almost every year because I put this task off. We'd love to hear from you. Please visit klru.org ctg to send us your questions or plants of the week from your garden.